right, what's up you guys? It's Adana. So I just finished my third day of my job as a trauma PA slash general surgery PA. And it's been quite interesting. As always, I'm coming to you guys freaking out of breath because I typically like run up and down the stairs um, to do our various different things. Like if we're on the third floor for the ED, but we're going, you know, from the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth floors. So um, a little out of breath, but you know, getting better every, every day. So my day was like, you know, typical day again. We came in, we did rounds and got report actually, then went up and got report again, like with the trauma surgeons. Um, and then after that, uh, half of us went to do rounds and then I went with one of the trauma PAs down to do a consult in the ED. And it was an interesting consult. Uh, just like multiple stab wounds, like an assault type of thing, but the person really didn't need like any care f on a trauma standpoint. Um, they just needed trauma to clear them, so uh, that's what we did. We kind of went through, did our assessment, and we cleared the patient. Do you guys hear the helicopter coming um, from above? If you do, that's the helicopter about to land. Um, but after we did that, after we cleared the, the patient, then what happened was we, man, it's so loud, you guys, listen to that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, so after that, um, it was kind of like quiet for a little while, then we went to breakfast and had like, you know, breakfast, and then... Um, went back up to the <laughs> to the trauma bay, excuse me, and then after we did that, like came back up to the trauma bay, then we just got slammed with traumas. I think we had like eight traumas just today alone from the time that I've been here, and that's not, you know, withstanding like to say they're not going to get any more tonight or what's going to come after I leave. So... And that's been pretty interesting, um, pretty interesting day. And these were like legit traumas, like truly, you know, like stabbings or um, motor vehicle accidents and things like that. And so we had a lot of really sick people and, you know, some, you know, really serious injuries. And I got to put my first chest tube in, which was really exciting. So um, I was able to go through that procedure. And what that procedure showed me was that I need to continue to um, read up on these procedures again and like kind of hone my skills because guys, like we got training my first month of PA schools, um, you know, clinical year. Uh, that's when we got our like advanced procedures training. But after that, um, I went, even when I was putting in chest tubes, like on the daily, I wasn't putting in chest tubes, like how I'm putting in chest tubes in the trauma bay. I was used, like this was more so in the OR, you know, with the CT surgeon. Um, so it was a lot more, I don't know, I felt like it was a little bit easier in the OR, but clearly I'm pretty sure it's like the same process, obviously, but for whatever reason, I guess just because I'm a new grad PA and I'm now practicing and it's my third day, um, I felt like I struggled a little bit, you know, or I was a little bit more timid than I needed to be, but the chest tube was placed, it was placed correctly. Um, I was able to actually, you know, like hear the air coming out and the see the blood because the our, the patient that I placed the chest tube in had a pneumothorax and a hemo um, thorax, so meaning that they had air in um, their lungs and also blood in their lungs. So we had to put that chest tube in to drain that. So we went through, did that process, um, you know, put the ch chest tube to suction, obviously, um, to continue to get all of that fluid out. Um, and then we had to order a chest x-ray to see if it was placed correctly. And so I got to do all of that, you guys. I got to write a note on that in terms of my procedure. I got to order, like, again, you know, this is 
like the second day or so that I'm ordering stuff and it's cool you know like I feel like a real PA <laughs> I feel like a real you know physician assistant slash practitioner which is really dope because I like actually you know treating patients and being able to order stuff and use my brain and so um, obviously I have a lot more studying to do uh, I, I so need to continue to work on my suturing skills um, I was really really good in PA school but I haven't had to use it for so long and so I felt like maybe I was a little bit nervous when I was throwing my like vertical uh, mattresses which I mean I've never been like the greatest at it but I've been pretty decent so um, just gotta hone those skills a little bit more but ultimately I'm really excited about my job you guys it's it's going good so far even though sometimes it can be like a little bit overwhelming when you're just getting hit with trauma after trauma after trauma and especially as a new PA I'm like oh my gosh but um I'm not alone, which is a great thing. Um, I have my colleagues to rely on and to teach me and to help me. And also like my other new grad, well, not my other new hire PA. So um, it's cool. And, and that's my experience on day three. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you have any questions for me, um, maybe on like one of the things that I said about like chest tubes or something like that, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.